Rural and volunteer fire departments across the area depend on the community to help them raise money to pay for the equipment they need, like trucks, gear, and training. It's the reason the Rock Volunteer Fire Department started their fundraiser. Two News Oklahoma's Caitlin Rivas spoke with the fire chief about the importance of getting the money for these volunteer departments. Volunteer fire departments run on fundraising and donations from the community. And Chief Charlie Pearson tells me this weekend's roundup brings in money for the whole year. You depend on us as much as we depend on you. So it works hand in hand with us. Is You need us, we need you. And people are real good to understand that part of it. Throughout Green Country, rural and volunteer fire departments are oftentimes the first call during an emergency. But because volunteer departments don't receive the same money as city departments, they have to fundraise for anything they want or need. And 28 years ago, the idea for a yearly fundraiser came about with the Rock Community Roundup. Well, the money that we raise will help us do all them different projects. And then the day that you need us at your house, we're going to be able to come to your house. We've never denied a call. We've never had a problem where we could not get there because we're, just, we're going to be there. And Chief Pearson says being there when disaster strikes is only doable because of the community support and the roundup. And this year, the roundup is getting a little bit bigger. We come up with this idea of having this chuck wagon dinner. And what it is, is we roast a whole hog. We uh, smoke pork butts. We smoke ribs. We smoke bologna. And if you come out here on Saturday, September 10th, the craft show is going to start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The car show is going to start at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Our live music will start at 3. And then at 4 o'clock, we're going to start our supper. All proceeds from the Roundup and Dinner go to the Rock Volunteer Fire Department for trucks, equipment for all 28 volunteers, training, and a rainy day fund. Chief Pearson says last year more than 500 people came out, which gave them enough money to build another building that they are turning into a rentable venue space. Chief Pearson tells me the community always steps up and does what they need to make sure the Rock Volunteer Fire Department can do their job and do it well. He tells me he's confident the community will step up once again this year. Reporting north of Sand Springs, Caitlin Rivas, 2 News, Oklahoma.